become too important to be replaced. So me and my girl was talking about animals and the ecosystem. I like animals. I like to study, watch and observe animal behaviour. Just like human behaviour. I believe human beings, I believe we're animals. It's just that we sit at the top of the totem pole. We sit at the top of the food chain. So I like to watch and observe animal behaviour. Don't get it twisted though, man's not no pet lover. I'm not no animal lover. I don't wish, I don't desire to have a cat, rabbit, dog or screw. I'm not interested in them things there. But I like to watch and observe animal behaviour. I was saying to my girl, 90% of animals that walk the face of the earth, at some point, they've gone extinct. Because, key word, they have not become adaptable enough to thrive and survive in their environment. Some people don't want certain animals to go extinct for obvious reasons. But the zoologists, them, the scientists, them say, no, let them go extinct. Because, key word, they have not become adaptable enough to thrive and survive in their environment. They say, it's not the biggest and the strongest, but it's the most adaptable animal that thrives and survives. And it kind of goes hand in hand. Becoming adaptable means you need to be intelligent enough to understand your surroundings so that you can thrive and survive. Like adaptability and intelligence go hand in hand. I don't think an animal could be a dumb animal and an unintelligent animal and still be very adaptable. But it is possible. But I believe they just go hand in hand. Like I said earlier, human beings were animals. Let me take you way back, yeah, 50,000 years ago and that, yeah, possibly. They were human beings and they were Neanderthals. What's Neanderthal? Like a caveman, yeah? Like I said, it's not always about being the biggest and the strongest, although Neanderthals were shorter than human beings. But Neanderthals are way stronger than human beings. That man, they can bench press 200 kg, no problem. So Neanderthals, they were stronger than human beings. But human beings were more adaptable because they were more intelligent. They were able to outsmart, defeat and conquer the Neanderthals. They even interbred with them as well. Not black people, but certain white people have Neanderthal DNA in them. Yeah? Because obviously human beings mixed with Neanderthals and that. Obviously, black people didn't because we don't come from the same. But anyway, that's our that's next video. Human beings were able to outsmart and conquer and defeat Neanderthals because they were more adaptable, because they were more intelligent and that. So then, we was talking about other stuff, about work and that. And it just got me thinking. There are certain people, who are, apparently, due to this cost of living and this rise in energy and gas prices and electric prices, some people have died in their yard, you know, allegedly. And I was thinking to myself, maybe it's because they weren't intelligent enough to adapt to the changes in their environment. Human beings, let me break something down to you. Human beings are being replaced by robots in real Rask like time, my brother. Go to your local bank. If it still exists, they're shutting down all the banks, blood. Everything's online. Everything's mobile. The Santander in Edmonton's gone. The NatWest in Edmonton is gone. The fucking HSBC is gone in Edmonton. All these bank branches, they're getting shut down and that because everything's online. If you do have the luxury of stepping into a bank branch, pure machines, hardly any stuff. My girl was telling me in Sweden, they don't even have people inside the bank. They're just machines, blood. Everything is going online. Every, robots are replacing human beings in real time. This ain't no conspiracy theory. I'm not a conspiracy theorist type of man. Robots are replacing human beings in real time. Just like in Asda. You go there, there's less staff. Do you know why? Because they got more self-service, self-checkouts and that. You see, the dumb people, the people that lack intelligence, they will moan about, oh, these machines are replacing us and that. There's not job, enough jobs for the people that want to be able to work these easy jobs. Blood, if you was intelligent enough, you would not get caught out by the changes to your environment, blood. There ain't no engineers. See, the engineers have still got a job because it still takes someone to fix them. Lawyers, doctors, accountants, people with intelligence. They're not going to succumb to the changes to their environment. But the people them at the bottom, the people who are dumb, the people that couldn't be bothered to get themselves educated and that, so that one day in the future, they are, they are too important to be replaced. They don't succumb to this changes to the environment. They won't become extinct. They won't be dying in their yards, blood. Literally, there's people dying in their yards, blood. Because they can't afford gas and electric. Why? Because they weren't intelligent enough to get themselves a degree, skill or trade. They weren't important enough to not be replaced, blood. My company, they can't replace me that easily, you know. Who are they going to find that lives in a local area, that's an electrical tester, that is reliable, that turns up to work every single fucking day? 
I don't take days off. Who's actually good at their job. I am difficult to replace. I'm telling you, I'm a workplace. I'm never going to do it. I'm never going to try it. But I'm telling you, I can guarantee you, I can get away with a lot more stuff than the average person could. Because I'm hard to replace, blood. you got to become too important to be replaced. Even my girl, she can't replace me. Yeah, there are guys who are better looking than me. There are guys that have more money than me. But do they have all the other stuff? There are guys who are better looking than me, have more money, they have all the other stuff. But what is the chances of my girl finding them? She could find a guy that's better looking than me, got more money than me, whatever in it, yeah? But is he going to complain about black oppression? Or is he going to sit in his yard and play video games and that? I don't do none of that stuff. Is he a rascal like G, blood? No, fam. If some neighbours are making up noise at some idiot o'clock in the morning, are they going to step? Or are they going to sit and hope that they go soon and them things there? Or call the police, blood? I'm too important to replace. My girl can't replace me. That's how you have to become. You have to become a man of substance and that. So I don't feel sorry for these people, unfortunately. The people them that are freezing cold in their yard, I don't feel sorry for them. Because at some point, like I say in all my videos, I'm talking about cost of living and that. These people that are 60, 70 years old, but they had a good run of 30 years. If you've made it to 70 years old with, or 60 years old with decent health and that, that means you had a solid 30 years. From 30 to 60 or from 30 to 70 years old, you had 40 years, you had a solid period of time where you could have made something of yourself. But you was too dumb, too lazy to understand that, you know what, yeah? You're also doing yourself a disservice by not making the effort, becoming rich and wealthy. You deserve to, to freeze in a yard. You know how much people right now, yeah, in wheelchairs and that, would love to be able to have the opportunity that you have, you're just wasting it. Working a little shitty nine to five, 40 hour a week, and then just gonna go and spunk, spend all the Ross Clark money on the weekend. Dumb blood. I don't feel sorry for none of them. They had the opportunity. If they died, and there was afterlife and that, Imagine, I don't believe in God or nothing in it, yeah, but let, imagine there was an afterlife and someone died suddenly, car crash, got shot in the head or whatever, in it, yeah. they died at a young age. They would love, if, if they were up in the sky, they would love to, they would think to themselves, you know what, yeah, if, if, if just if someone gave me one more opportunity, like, gave me a, another life, if I could respawn, I would do this, I would do that, I would do this. Blood, you're watching this right now, blood, you need, you need to think like that, you know. Like I say in my videos, I cannot be bothered to go running, but I do it anyway, do you know why? For one, I'm disciplined, so I do it regardless of how I feel. Forget about motivation. I do it regardless of how I feel. And for two, bro, this man in wheelchairs, blood. This man that don't have the opportunity to go for a run because they had some madness happen to them. Leg amputated because of gangrene or something, blood clot or whatever. They would love to be able to go for a run. And you're sitting there with your fat ass on the sofa. Oh, I don't know how to... <laughs> so, basically, I watching one of Andrew Tate's videos, isn't it? This is why I love watching Andrew Tate and that. There's this thing he, he, he spoke about called feigning ignorance. And you, everyone's heard this before, isn't it? You have someone, whether they're in shape or not, it, it don't really matter, really. Whether they're overweight or not, it don't really matter. But they'll say, oh, I, I don't know what to do, how to um, get in shape and that. And he said, blood, pick it up and put it down. Go to the fucking gym. Pick it up and put it down. Basically saying, pick up weights and do fucking weights. Stop acting stupid. People try to act like they're dumb, so they don't... People try to act like they don't know what to do, so they don't have to fucking do it. A man will come to me and say to me, oh, I don't know how to get in shape and that. Blood, there's a park around the corner. Go run around it five times, blood. Oh, I don't know how to build muscle and that. You know what a push-up is, yeah? Yeah? Do a hundred, blood. Stop acting like you don't know what to do, so you don't have to fucking do it, blood. So the message for today is, become too important. To be replaced. Become too intelligent to be replaced, blood. Don't lack intelligence to the point where your job can be replaced by a fucking machine, blood. Asda, they're my mum's yard, blood. I remember when they was bringing in the self-checkouts and that. They must have imagined they had, I don't know, 40 members of staff and that. There would have been redundancies. They don't need you, blood. Because, yeah, you might be intelligent and that, but, blood, if you don't have qualifications and that, or you're working some bullshit job, blood, you will be replaced easily, blood. Imagine you working on a shop floor as that. You can't give your manager no back chat. Blood, from when you're walking out the door and they send your blood clot home, they got 
five CVs waiting. You can easily be replaced, blood. Imagine you're with a gal and it's a top tier gal. And you just work at fucking Burger King or McDonald's or you're just a delivery driver and that. And you know this girl dates man that has money, you know. Whether they're a rapper or whether they're a business owner, you know the last five exes that she's had, they've all been up there, innit? Yeah, money man them, yeah? Them man there, Mercedes is shit to them man there, yeah? Let's say, for example, innit? Money man. Would your little broke ass and that? Blood, you, you better be scared, fam. You better know, say, that girl can replace you any time, blood. Because you're easily replaceable, blood. Whereas if you're a man with money, you get me, you got your shit on point, you got your head screwed on, you got status and that, blood, your girl's going to think twice about getting rid of you, fam. If you work at McDonald's and that and you're dating a girl, blood, expendable, next. You work at Asda and that, you're on the shop floor stacking shows and that, one little batch at, next. But if you're a doctor, if you're a lawyer, if you're a good tradesman, yeah, skilled, yeah, super skills and that, bro, they're going to think twice about getting rid of you because who are we going to get to do the job just as well? When you're just stacking shelves, when you're just driving a lorry, bro, they'll get rid of you. They'll have someone to fill your spot within hours, easily. Become a scarce resource. Become a man of substance, blood. Then you can take the piss in life now. I'm joking. But yeah, literally, man. So... It's got to become too important to be replaced easily and that. The, the reason why the people them in Asda, the, the cashiers and that in, in, in Barclays get replaced because their job's not important enough. Now, they might be intelligent enough, but they ain't working in the field where they're really needed to that degree where, get me, the managers and that are going to think twice, ten times about getting rid of them. That's it for today. Stay wise. Done, man.